velocity back again riding around the ruckus because yesterday I could not fix the Lafon. But nonetheless, I did have a chat with my Lafon dealer and uh, I can bring it over there and they'll take a look at it. Uh, and I more than likely, hopefully, it should be covered whatever the problem is under that amazing two year warranty that this Lafon comes with brand new. Uh, to, to clarify, the two-year warranty, the first year is parts and labor, the second year is parts. But I got a lot of encouraging words from the dealer saying, yeah, we'll get you back on the road again, because I did, I did let him know how uh, bummed I was because I wasn't going to be able to ride it for a while. The only problem now is getting it over there, which is, I don't own a truck, and then all I have is a tiny little car, so see how that works out anyways I have uh, I have had a lot of comments on that video and it's only been out for not even 12 hours yet and I appreciate everyone's encouraging words about uh, the Lafon you know it is a bummer but it, it's it's stuff that happens you know and kind of I'm glad that it happens to me before it happens to you so I can share it with everybody to see if there's something, you know, that you can prevent yourself from happening. So that means I'll be riding the Ruckus for a while. So, we'll have a few more Ruckus videos. Uh, what I'd like to do when I get back today is do some of the foil weights and get the four gram weights to four and a quarter grams. See if that's possible. And then install them. And then for tomorrow's vlog, uh, see if there's any increase in speed. Because I believe that I need to weight up my lighter weights that I have mixed in here. It's not like I need to let the, it's not like I need to make the ruckus faster. I mean, 45 miles per hour on a 45 mile per hour road is wonderful. My 3D parts video that I came out with recently is doing pretty well. I'm getting a lot of feedback on that. Uh, I mean, not everybody has a 3D printer. Uh, it's not exactly convenient to send some STLs to a third-party builder to print your designs for you. But, I mean, if I get enough of feedback on a particular part, you know, I'll make as many as I can. I'll do like a dozen or two part run. You know, it'll take me like two weeks, but, you know, I'm willing to sell them pre-made. He's a drywall on the road. People need to strap their crap down. Man, I was going pretty fast too. Looks like we have a trailer pulling a tractor. And then generally I can't get out of the right lane because I don't go fast enough to pass. It is nice to keep up with traffic whenever you're riding a ruckus. I didn't want to make this video longer than four or five minutes because I've just got a ton of stuff to do and I don't have uh, a lot of time to do any of the editing. Uh, really all I wanted to express to everyone was thank you for the kind words about the Lafon and the advice. It will go to the dealership. I just need to find a truck to get it to the dealership. And I wanted to say, hey, for those people who like the Honda Ruckus, I guess we'll be making a few videos together. So if you got any ideas of things you want me to do on the Ruckus, then let me know. If anyone has any opinions on the Lafon as to what happened, or any questions about what happened when I did it so they can come up with a good conclusion, I guess now is a good time to start a guessing game as to what I broke. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, comment below and join the conversation about all the things that I've talked about today. And I will see you next time.
Oh, I forgot my gloves. Crap. <laughs>